Welcome back to Nick Landis Comic Corner, classic slash non-classics. This is episode number 845 and double shot number 739. Two Marvel trades, and they're really short, like really thin trades. First up, it is Cyclops, Volume 1, Starstruck. Written by Greg Rucker, artwork by Russell Dimmer, uh, Dimmerman. Yeah, Dotterman. This collects the first five issues of Cyclops Volume 3. I say Volume 3 because some of you think when, when they first saw this book, of course this book came out in 2014. People saw this like, oh, Cyclops is getting, ongoing, getting a series now first time. No, that's not necessarily true. I say Volume 3 because they did have two other volumes published prior to this. One was a volume published in 2001 as part of the Icon stuff. The other was a one-shot related to First Class, so third volume. Is this focused on present day Cyclops? Nope, it is focused on past Cyclops. Yeah, this is during the period of time where he went off into space. Like, right after the events of Trial of Jean Grey, that event launched this very title, which got canceled after 12 issues. With the, with, the, with, the, with the event that happened the following year, Black Vortex. Yep. Yeah, I say Greg... Now, here's the thing about Greg Greco's run for this book. He only did these first five issues, and then he left. I am not kidding. He left, and then for the remaining seven issues of the series, he was replaced by John Lehman. I should point out, though, both Greg Rucka and John Lehman are Batman writers. And both of whom have basically had runs in Detective Comics. Yeah, had runs to the comics. The story for this one just basically his time in space, with him also finding out exactly. Of course, there was a question asked because of Bendis loved doing retcons of how in the world Cone Star was resurrected, because he was killed off in I believe it was 2008. I think it was by his own by his youngest son Vulcan. How did he kill him? Snap his neck. Yep, and it took three years, and he was resurrected via drugs. Yeah, they explained this in issue three. I'm sure Rucker was like, yeah, I'm going to explain this, because Bennett just doesn't care to explain something like this. He of course, about other pirates, stuff like that. It's a really good little story line, and I can't wait to get my hands on volume two. Give this book a 9.5 out of 10. Next up, it is Secret Avengers volume two, Labyrinth. Collecting, this is also the third volume of this series, collecting issues 6 to 10, written by Alex Knott, and I'll work by Michael Walsh. Yep. This is just set up for the end of this particular run. That's really what these issues are. And the biggest thing about, the, like, we, help, we have stuff like Black Widow versus Lady Bullseye. I think it's the first couple issues of this particular trade. Mm -hmm. There's stuff like Coulson, which really doesn't go much of any place. Modoc abandons S.H.I.E.L.D. because he realizes he's always in love with Maria Hill, and yes, Deadpool shows up in here as well. Mm -hmm. Yep, Deadpool. And they don't do very much in here. I mean, of course, stuff with Fury. I mean, the whole point of this storyline is just setting up the final arc. That's really the whole point of this one. And of course, it follows up what happened the last one with Hawkeye becoming back to Seek Avengers after he left at the end of the previous five of the series. Mm hmm. It's okay. It's not exactly the best issues. The following five issues are a lot better than this. I'm going to give this book roughly a 8.5 out of 10. It's okay. Alright, so that's it for this particular review. This one's short, but not much else to say about these two particular trades. Mm -hmm. Next one, all new X Factor. Yep, but to see you next review. Bye.